Hello everyone, welcome to the Briarfast 2019 loot video. Woo! So that whole pile of loot there, I managed to get home. Um, some of the stuff I had to give away and check in a tote, which you probably saw the Will It Survive checked baggage video. If you haven't, I will link a post in the oops in the description. Um, so here is my loot. I plan uh, let's yeah, I gotta open all this stuff real quick and put it away, so I figured I'd do my video in that time frame. Let's see, how are we doing? Okay. Um, so, I guess we'll start with this lovely briar elk I got at the Clarion. Let me change this so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Um, just a body, but he'll be for my collection. I might just spruce him up a bit for myself. He's a little warped, but that was probably because of checking him or just going in the luggage because when the luggage came off of the belt um, it was really hot like all of it was like even my hard-sided luggage was like wobbly because I guess the heat I don't know must have been a hot airplane under there these are the medallions that I won at the resin futurity um, the champs and the reserve champs got a little medallion and a ribbon as well they're super super cute I can't wait to paint those here was my 5K medal. Really nice. Love it. It's from running the Briarfest 5K. These should be some collectibles. I'll try and grab all the ones I got. Um, I didn't know more than like the three... What, Pop? More than like the three that I got last year like existed. Um, so I was kind of on a mission to get the whole set. So I think the only ones I'm missing now are... Ugly and one other one, I don't remember. So we got that guy, this guy. I'll bring him closer to the camera in a moment. This should be strewn throughout. Some didn't have bases because some were actually in body boxes, so I'll probably have to make a stand for them to display them with my others. Here, here's a bunch of pegs. And then I gotta like double check on who was who now because everything got all mixed up. See, I already had three that I bought last year in the gift shop, um, and they were the newer ones. This guy was part of the newer ones, but he was named something different, and also I think the one I have has a sock. Um, so I was debating whether or not I really wanted to get him, even though he was like pretty much the same, but because of that variation, I decided to grab him. Here is another one. The woman that had these, actually there was like two variations of that. One was really light, and then there was this dark one. I like the dark one. I don't particularly need to collect all the variations if they're literally the same color, just lighter or darker. But this one, since I think it has a sock. But anyway, so here are all the collectibles. This guy I think is my favorite. He's cool. Isn't it too dark over here? Okay. This guy. So there's all the collectibles that I got. This guy's really cool too. I super dig. This guy actually had some damage, but I don't care. They're just for me. I just really like these sculpts and I like the moose. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Check this guy out. It's a little micro shark. It's a pewter micro shark. How cool. I got him in the artisan's gallery. I still got to figure out how to put him on his base. He does just rest on there somehow, but I don't know. I'll probably just attach him somehow. But isn't he so cool? He's fun. So I don't know if I'll ever paint him or if he'll just be for me or what. He may have bent a little. I don't know. I got to double check on what he's supposed to look like. But there he is. Little micro great white. So here we have Bartholomew by Amanda Brock. Look how cool he is. Can't wait to paint that dude. Next up, oh, we have my Sarge. Sarge is a super duper cool. Uh, I, want, I wish you can kind of see it in the lighting here. He basically changes from green to purple. It's funny because after I bought him, I was like walking and I'm like, why is mine so green? I don't like green. And then I turned around and he was like all purple, so maybe, hopefully you can see it. But he's super cool. I wish I could have just picked up some more to see how, like, kind of, like, if they varied, but 
I was barely able to get him. Um, it was super crowded and super busy and everything was like selling out at like by 11, like it was madness. Um, so I luck luckily got what I wanted for myself. Um, here is the button for this year. Got at the uh, entrance and the magnet for this year. Um, here are a couple of temporary tattoos from the Braychella event, although I didn't get to go to the Braychella, unfortunately, because I was teaching my workshop, but Kylie had a couple of extra tattoos at her booth in the Arsons Gallery afterwards, so I just grabbed them from there. Uh, this you probably saw in that other video as well is a little clinky raccoon. He's super cute, so he came home with me. We got our bag of bodies. So Wednesday I went crazy and just, that was my shopping clarion day because I was going to be jam-packed schedule-wise throughout the whole event. So that was my shopping day. I grabbed this Great Dane body. Super cool. I'm hoping to customize it into this little puppy right there. Hey, Pooper. Puppy. Mm. She's not happy. She has to be down here with me right now. Oh, this is... Kind of just for me, for my little moves collection. So cute. Uh, of course, I grabbed a Malik to play with here from Chelsea's Bottle of Horses. This was like the first purchase I made. This, this one and this one by Mel Miller, the new, the new drafty guy. I picked up in the same place as well. It was like my first two purchases were those two. So I really want to repaint one of these, and I want to customize the Malik. So that was exciting because I can't really get briars near me. So this is my time to shop for the new stuff and all that jazz. Got this cute little foal. I just thought it was really adorable. Got another one of these guys because I think he paints up really nice. And I think I might want to customize one maybe instead of just straight repainting. And I got a couple of these little merry legs. I thought they'd make some fun customs. Um, the reason I have two is because I found the first one was like five bucks. I'm like, oh, that's cheap. Yay. I'll, eh, why not? I'll customize. And then I went to the next room, literally, and this one was like three bucks. So I was like, well, should have bought that one. But hey, now I got two. Eh. Oh, and this little baby. I thought it was cute. So I might do something with him at some point. Fix him up. This... I got from a friend who did these super cool customs. How cool is this? I just think this is the coolest little thing. Oh, hold on. The dog's trying to go up the stairs and the door's closed. As I was saying, uh, this a uh, friend gave to me. I just think it's the coolest thing. It's a little custom that she did. How cool is this? Great mold for this too. I got the red one. I think she made a whole bunch of other colors of the rainbow. But it's so cool. I love it. I was going to go in my little collection that I have. So, I mean, these are pretty much the only things I collect. Like, like really collect are things that, like, people make for me. I have a whole little swap herd and things that people have made. Um, okay. This one I bought, like, literally right before I left because she had, uh, she had put some, she had some extras on sale, so... I am not in the medallion club because I can only afford one club at a time and I'm in the micro club. So I grabbed this guy from Raven. Anyway, um, so I grabbed him right before I left and he was waiting for me when I got home. So I really can't wait to paint him. He's going to be so like, I don't know what colors to do him. He can be so many colors. He's so cool. Steampunk pony. So at the Resident Futurity, the champions got Fletcher's, which is a collector's club model. And the reserve champion got Celeste's which were collector's club models. I won two of each. Um, I couldn't fit them all to take them home. I sold one. Um, the other one I gave to Sarah over at Model Horse Central. And I think we're going to be doing a giveaway for that and my extra Oliver, uh, sponsored by Art by C. Riley. So I guess stay tuned for that. Um, so let's see if these guys made it. Um, I don't know because I, I, I couldn't take their boxes either. I couldn't fit the boxes so I had to pack them in my suitcase just like this. And like I said, when I got it, it the suitcase was like so warm. But he actually, huh, actually looks like he survived. 
And then that heat didn't even warp or anything. That's pretty cool. So I'm thinking of keeping these two as a memento, but um, maybe eventually, I don't know. I don't know if I'll, I don't know. But if it's something you're really interested in, you can contact me, this and Celeste. Um, yeah, he made it, wow, okay. That's exciting. She looks good too, wow. Nice. Let's see. Yeah, she's good. Cool. All right, well then. Um, let me put these somewhere else. Super excited. The, the three things I really need to get for myself each year is the crystal, the tent stable mate, and the celebration model. Um, it was rough this year. It was cutting it close. I didn't think I was going to get everything for myself because when I went in at 11 o'clock, all the crystals were sold out. There was only about 10 sarges left. Plenty of the stable mate sets. Um, and I didn't really have any time except Sunday afternoon to go back for this crystal and try and get it. So, but luckily as a, luck would have it, I was talking to a friend about it and she's like, I picked up an extra one if you need it. So I was like, you know what? Yeah. Let me just grab it from you. So yay. Here, yeah. I didn't even really get to look at them all that well. Yeah. Cool. Really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, really cool. So I can't wait to put this guy in the lineup with my others. Fun, fun, fun. Here's Oliver. Uh, his box made it pretty well. He was a little dented in here. I kind of squeegeed my hand in there and unpopped it. So he'll be joining my collection of celebration models from years I've attended. He's really nice. Nice model. Nice pattern. He's really crisp. Like, even... Like, I was looking at which one I wanted to keep, and they were both so nice I couldn't decide. So I just eeny, meeny, miny, mo and grabbed one. This is the Go Fly medallion awarded to the overall champions at the Resin Futurity. It's so dark in here. Hopefully you can see that. I can't, couldn't get over how huge this thing was. I did not know it was this large. Like, I knew it was big, but wow, it's huge. Um, I think it's like bigger than a piece of paper, like height wise, but it's really nice. Um, I'm going to paint this something fun. I don't know what kind of background either. Super cool. So that's that. And also the overall champs received, um, at Emerson, the reserve champs, I believe got, um, uh, Bristol. Um, but I think I'm going to keep my Emerson because I really like him. Um, and it's a nice memento, and I was really, really excited. I couldn't believe that um, I took the overall champion of the mini division with my little leopard Appaloosa, Norriker, that I did. So, sorry guys, he's not going to be for sale. I want to take him to a little, few more shows and have fun with him for a little while first before I let him go. So, he is off the market right now. So schmancy. Look at him. Ah, look at him. He's so schmancy. He's so pretty. He's so pretty. Wow. He's nice. I don't see a single flaw on him. He's gorgeous. I didn't really even have a chance to look at him. Just I looked at his body a little bit. Just to make sure he wasn't like uber broken, but wow, he looks awesome. Love it. Love it. All right, and last but not least is this little box of goodies. So I hope the tail's in here, otherwise I don't know where it went. And TSA might have taken it. Oh, there it is. All right, so we will open up the one I was going to show you before. This is a Zephyr. I so, oh, let's put you back down here. I so wish I could afford it. Could have afforded more than one of these but as it was i was already throwing a lot of money at kylie and i just i can't afford more than one um i really can't like i can't no um but i really wanted another one but i had to be good so here he is Ugh, he's huge huge i tell you but he is so cute look how cute he is those little baby wings. <laughs> and that is for his tail. Um, 
So that's a magnet. It should magnetize whoa, to there. I haven't tried this yet. And there he goes. He stands up on his own. You don't even need to stand. How cool is that? Next is her Mustang medallion. I don't know if this is has been available or will be available. It was only available by first. I'm not sure. Um, but I got it because he's awesome. So there's that. There was the mystery medallionopoly she had going. Um, so I bought the five four deal, the five deal, and um, traded couple of people and I got one of each for the full set did not open a gold unfortunately um, the gold uh, each type had a gold piece that if you got the gold piece you got a $50 credit towards another medallion or something in her shop so first up we have the Arabian I actually the first when I first opened them I actually ended up with three Arabians, um, so I had to trade around and get the rest. Manglarga Marchador. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but the Shire. This was the last one I traded for to get my full set. The Australian Stock Horse. This was the mystery guy, the Gypsy Vanner. So there was four, and then the fifth one you didn't even know what it was until you, someone opened it. Kind of like a surprise model, so that's the, uh, this is the surprise. This was from Nikki Button. Um, she accidentally dropped and broke one of her little guys, so she was selling him as a second, and I bought him. Because she's awesome, and he's awesome, and every time I see it, I... Wonder if I should get one or not. Should I, should I, should I, should I? And then finally I was like, you know what? I'm here. Great deal. It is time. And finally here we have Mel Miller's new micro. i I got two of these. I don't have to open the other one to show you. Um, I bought the seconds because they were a little less and they weren't that bad. They're just a little rougher and just need a little more work. So there he is. And yeah, I, I think that's it. That is the Briarfest loot video of 2019. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Uh, bye!